everyone, how are you? We just celebrated Mother's Day, but it's not just about mothers, it's about other special women in your life, maybe your aunt, maybe your grandma. So what I wanted to do this week is make something special for them and remember them and be kind to them. So the story today is What Not to Give Your Mom on Mother's Day by Martha Simpson. Mother's Day is coming soon. What should you give your mom? Well, it depends. But here is my advice on what not to give her. Do not give her a bucket of big fat worms unless she is a bird. Tweet, tweet, plump juicy worms. Do not give her a beat up shoe unless she is a dog. Arf, arf, a new chew toy. Do not give her dead flies unless she is a spider. Munch, munch, yummy. Do not give her a rotting log unless she is a salamander. Slip, slide, just right for laying my eggs. Do not give her a block of salt unless she is a deer. Lick, lick, deer candy. Do not give her a pile of sticks unless she is a beaver. Slap, slap, sticks to build my dam. Do not give her a mound of termites unless she is an aardvark. Crunch, crunch, what a treat. Do not give her a mud puddle unless she is a pig. Oink, oink, this really cools me off. Do not give her some mosquitoes unless she is a bat. Squee, squee, I'll eat those pesky skeeters. But there is something you could give your mother. A big hug and a kiss. I love you too, honey. The end. Now, let's talk about the craft for this week. Inside your bag, you'll find a paper that has a teapot with a heart on it. You're going to cut out your teapot along the outside, and if you need help, that's okay. And then I gave you paint. You're going to take one finger, stick it in the paint, and put spots on your teapot. And decorate it for your mom, your aunt, or your grandma. Or whoever the special woman is in your life. And then there's a bag of tea in your bag that they can have a bag of tea as a little treat. All right, have fun at home. Bye.